Hey y'all, welcome to Resale Therapy. My name is Tracy. I go by Kettlet. I sell on Macari and eBay, and today Kat is with me. Yay! So we are going to dive into bag number three. This one handpicked by Kat. Of the 21 pounds that we bought from shopgoodwill.com and originated from southern New Jersey and another state that I cannot remember because I rock like that. <laughs> so without further ado, let's cut into this sucker. Woo! Okay. Ugh, right away I see more beads. Mwah, mwah. Oh, no. No, I don't think you messed up. We okay. gotta go through all of them anyway, right? Yeah. So right off the bat, I see a bunch and a bunch of beads, and none of them want to let go. But hello, what is that? Oh, that's is that metal. That is metal. Huh? That's different, and it has Magnet. bonus. It has bonus hair built in. Ew. Magnet. Magnet. Oh, jumped right to it. It's a strong metal, but it also feels, it's so tightly woven, it feels like it's uh, yarn. But it's very pretty. It's got black and white in between. Can you see that? There we go. And then the gold. So, if we can get the bonus hair. Here, I'll let you try that. <laughs> that that might be a sell. Oh, I see another pretty. Hold on. Can I get that one out without breaking anything? Because you and rock. I got it. I'm so glad to have my buddy back helping me out. I got it out. So. Yay! She got the hair out. Put Yuck. It cell, so put it in the cell box. I will hand all hair and feathers to you because I can't do it. All right. I just got this one kind of, yeah, free because I noticed there's some soda light in it. Look at that. Little chips of soda light. Chips. Uh, what looks like shell. Um... I think those are plastic, but I could be wrong. It's not cold like the rest of them, but um, I don't know. Those are pretty. Anyway, either way, it's pretty. It's got some stone in it. It's got some shell in it. It's got a lobster clasp. Don't ask me why I'm saying in. Uh, that might be a seller. It's pretty long. Can't even fit it on the screen unless I double it. I uh, like it. I think we will sell it individually. Your thoughts? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cute. All right. There's another thing in there deep that I don't want to pull on. I want to get these big obnoxious beads out of the way first. Oh, but it won't let me. It's, <laughs> it's stuck on something else. It's attached. Hold on. Let me see if I can undo it. Probably not because this is multi-strand. And isn't that the case with all the multi-strands? They are such a pain in the butt. Attached on, like, tail. Uh, she made a funny. Okay, this one's attached to this one, which is attached to something else. Are you kidding? Okay, I got that loose. And I get that loose. Okay. A multi strand nightmare. A multi strand nightmare. So it's a five strand faux pearl, not even pearl, it's straight up light blue plastic and it will probably go in a craft lot because I wouldn't even give that to kiddos. Is this it? Yeah, no, oh, it's attached. attached. It's still attached. Oh, no. I have quite the beast going right away. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next thing. Oh, this is very different. So we got some wood beads. Um, and it seems to be broken, but easily fixed. We got all sorts of wood beads on here. And then we have these with, um, like a wicker woven cover on them. And, uh, I, we, we have a wood lot that we're building up with beads and shells. So we decided to put shells with it. So once this is fixed, we'll put that in there because this is cute. It uh, sits on the collarbone. She's going to put that in and I'm going to move on. This, oh my goodness, this chain has such a good feel to it. Did you feel it? 
Yeah. I love it. Or is that like an oily feel? I can't tell. Oh, yeah. And it's got these uh, funky cut um, plastic beads. Some that are not funky, but that one's clearly a bit off. Um, and then it's got these here that are like barrel. Then there's this uh, gold tone edged ones. There's an apple shaped one. Then these big faux pearls on this like almost a bronze tone snake chain. Very 70s, 60s, almost mid-century modern in a way. Wow. I don't know. This one's got me curious, but there you can see everything that's on this. Uh, I do not know what to think about this one. I kind of like it in a throwback 70s, 60s kind of way. Um, we will put it in the I don't know pile. Where did that one go? Um. <laughs> right there. All right, moving on. This is, uh, is this shell or is this like a fake shell? Why would you fake a shell? But it does. It feels like plastic. I think this is plastic. And a fake, be a faux drop pearl. I think we're going to put this in... A dress up for kids. Yeah. It's got this giant pearl. I think they might like that. There's another thing. I may have had to cut her a second ago because I wanted to eliminate tossing. And now this is definitely shell. Uh, it's got a cold feel to it. It's got a funky organic shape to it. And then it's got wood beads. So this will go into our wood and shell lot. Yeah, I like the pieces. Okay. Then we've got this one. I think this one's fake too. Yeah, this is just, this is probably just going to go in a craft lot. Although I don't know a crafter would, well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe they can cut them and use them in art. Like in a picture or mm -hmm. something. Like, you know, um, how people take like broken pottery and make. Things mosaics and stuff yeah, there you go we'll put it in a craft lot okay this one's a little different they look like they're organic but you can see a seam and then you hold it against the others and realize no they're definitely not uh and it's uh kind of funky I don't know, kid lot or craft lot. Cat. Um, I'm guessing kid. All right, this one's pretty. It's got shell. It's got um. I thought I had some, or maybe seed or oop. My bad. Seed or wood. I can't tell what that is. And then it's got. Uh, I think that might be clay. I can't tell. And then it's got some glass beads. It's really cool. Um, nice silver tongue spring clap. No, lobster claw. Uh, this will go in our wood and shell lot. I like it. Another one for the wood lot. Whoa. That is not wood. Crazy. That looks almost alien like. <laughs> And then, yeah, that's not, that's not wood. Is that metal? I don't think so. I don't know what this is. Huh. Yeah, it's not metal. It's, it's, uh, plastic, I guess. Yeah, there's a, there's a seam on it. So I, I don't, maybe we'll put this in a crap lot. Mm -hmm. this is cute and an earring what the heck crazy is this like 
it maybe it's broken like it was supposed to have a chain going up yeah uh craft lot here's another little earring that's cute i hope we find the other one of that okay let's deal with this just a reminder that we do have um earrings from the other bags and we will keep holding on to all of them and go through all of them to make sure that we match them up as best as possible. Now, put your bets in now. Is this going to be multi-strand? Or is this going to be multi-necklace? Or is it going to be one strand really long? Um, I don't know. Looks like multi-strand I think it's multi-strand too. It's a box chain for what that's worth. Uh, multi-strand. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. Yep. <sighs> Huh. So, tangled beyond belief down here at the bottom. But, cute nonetheless. This might be individual sale if I can get it to straighten up enough. But, there you go. Check that out. For what little you can. Five strains in all. Strain? Strands. Hopefully I'm not trying to pre-predict something pre-predict predict something so five strands all this box chain with these little faux crystals in between i think they're plastic but it's cute um it might go to a mix lot though yeah. but i like it it is nice faux pearls for that child in your life only the best under the sea. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. This is sweet. Aww. This is too adorable. I don't see a maker's mark. Oh, that is super cute. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Aww, it is cute. So we got to Let me see if I can zoom in here. So we got this cute little butterfly. I already have glitter galore and bits of pieces on this sheet. Okay, so we've got these little floaty beads here. And you see the stoppers. And then we have the cute little butterfly and the two dangle pits. So this will go in a kid lot if it's not sold individually. But as you can see, no marker to speak of. But super super adorable yeah. yeah does the butterfly does it move on the butterfly no okay and the back looks good all right then we have a mess a monstrosity a monstrosity it is a multi-strand monstrosity but she's like yeah but it's all one piece and that's all my job requires Totally get it. There's a name on it. It's CC, so Charming Charlie. Charming Charlie's. Charming Charlie. I don't know. And it's probably going to go in a mixed lot of sorts. Again, we still haven't figured this stuff out. But we will. Oh, hold on. I, oop. <laughs> I haven't zoomed out yet. <laughs> that would help. So we got three strands with these pinky glass and plastic beads. They are cute though, even though it's Charming Charlie's. It is cute. Charming Charlie's isn't all bad, or they wouldn't be in business. <laughs> okay. This tangled nightmare. That's what I say to um um Avon. <laughs> no, to Boogie. Um when when she says, why do they make black licorice? I'm like, because some people, some people like, it. like it. All right. So that mm -hmm. is cute. We'll put it in the mixed stuff. Next is this light blue um, and dark blue beads. Really, really long. Well, the silver, large silver Ooh, very. lobster clasp. No name to speak of. Very, very long. Big meaty claw. But that's what it looks like. And this will probably go in a mixed lot. So we have two strands here. Double strand. Dark blue. It's actually darker than the picture is showing you. 
Um, it is plastic. But it is nice in this silver chain. Lobster class was somewhere. We'll put this in a mix lot because it's nice enough. Not your typical beads. Okay. I untangled most of it. All right. Next is a seed bead and shell. In this, this. It looks like seaweed. Not citrine. What is this color? Um, seaweed. Seaweed. <laughs> it does you. think it make me think of seaweed a little. The shell. Uh, chartreuse is that the green? I don't know. Yeah, chartreuse. I think is this lot or lime green ish yeah. color? But yeah, it does look like seaweed mm -hmm. with seaweed and shell. And this will probably go in a mixed lot or with our shell and wood. I don't know which. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It does look like seaweed. That is so funny. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. I'm like, no, oh, it's it's like something that like a like a sea pony or a mermaid would make, <laughs> like something made of like a necklace. Oh, it's a Buddha mm -hmm. for the Buddhist in your life. For the Buddhist. Oh, he had a stone in his belly. He no longer does. So he'll go in a craft lot. All right next, we got a fun little stone. Earring. That's different. Mm -hmm. Never seen one quite like that. And we have a dangle one with some glass beads and a pink rhinestone on a metal flower. And we have, oh, those are real fresh, fresh water pearls. Yay. Oh, if you can focus on that, there it goes. Those are three little teeny tiny fresh water pearls. And then, oh, I like the chain on this, this one. This is in plastic, but beautiful. This has a big silver chain going throughout it with blue satellite beads and some that look kind of purple with something on it. Uh, make sure I wash my hands real good. Mm -hmm. um, no maker mark or anything. So uh, this is probably going to go in a mix lot. It's fun. I just, yeah, not individual sale for sure. All right, next we got, uh, I think we had this one, but I'm not sure. This earring looks like it's backward. I guess you're supposed to show off the hammered side. And then we have a cloudy faux crystal earring. Uh, they go to our single earring lot. Now we have a gold tone chain that we will hold on to till we can find something to put on it. I do not see a see name or maker's mark. Nope. Okay. So that will go with our chains. Mm -hmm. We didn't bring that part out. And here is a funky chain. But we can hold on to it too because you never know when you're going to find a great funky pendant. Although it's not, I think it's missing a jump ring at the end. Because I think this is just part of the chain. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, no, I might put that in a crap lot, y'all. Okay. I don't think it has a big enough charm or jump ring. So, this is cool. I gotta see what it says and I can't really make Very it. Very simplistic. It says 925 on it. Mm. So, like, it's a black silver like it's been I don't know, made to look dark and it says nine west mm -hmm. pretty sure that's what that says it's very simplistic and nice i like it i can't tell if that's what that says where's my loop -de -doop -de -de? right here loop -de -doop -de -doop. it is very simple and she's like i want it <sighs> Well, the simplicity is one of my styles. Yep, it's a Nine West. Mm -hmm. And it's got this little teeny tiny stone. A little red colored brown. Yeah, reddish color. brown, you're right. Yeah, it's cute. So, well, let me see. Like, it wouldn't, like... Okay, if it's silver, it will not jump to this. It didn't. Hmm, so that has a chance of being silver. 
Um, yeah, black colored silver. Even the inch um like hoopy thing is not. Yep. Hmm. Okay, so we have to look into that. Yep. It's cute. Yep. It's like something I would wear, but it's very cute. And it's probably like rip something from the. I don't want to take it because it's. it's well, we'll see. Maybe the Easter Bunny will give it to you. <laughs> Would that be horrible? I don't know. I don't know. It is very cute. Mm -hmm. Here, try it on. Okay. All right, next one. Again, oh, they're yeah. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Huh? You've ever seen huh? They're two stretch bracelets together, so I guess you would wear them like together because nice. they're together. It's wonky, but it's cool. Okay. It's definitely kid lock them because that's fun. That is fun, and mm -hmm. it's green. Mm -hmm. Happy belated St. Patrick's Day, by the way. This is huge and it's fun. And I'm, I'm going to wrap it up because it is very, very long. Mm -hmm. This is wrapped four times. Four times, y'all. That's how long it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it's cute. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm over over. Congratulations, you own silver. <laughs> So this is very pretty. It's got that satin finish. So this beautiful pink strand that will dangle down to a child's toes is going to go in a kid lot. Next is this gorgeous chain, which we will probably give to my son because he, he wanted it so bad when he found it in the lot, y'all, in the preview. He put it on. This is the one he put on. And he stole it from me a couple of times. And he stole it back. And I stole it back and said, I don't think so, sir. And then he stole it back again. Yes, he did. So we're going to let him have it. But he was being a poo head. And that's not the way to do it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we'll let him have this. It's a nice weight, too. Mm -hmm. It's a beast all on its own. Black multi strand nightmare. Hold on a minute. Oh, that's two. <laughs> all right, so we do have a multi strand black beaded. Gross. I'm not going to give this to a kid. I'm probably it's just going to. Yeah, it'll go in a craft lot. Crafty, crafty. Crafty, crafty. Now, next also with that was this single strand. A lot shinier. And sure, I'll give that to a kid. Sure, why not? Yeah. Did we do these? Um, no, we have not done those. I just got the... I was trying to untangle those and then we got interrupted. Oh, okay. Let me untangle She's those. still working on that. So I will grab these. Okay, so... <laughs> This was off that gorgeous cougar bracelet that I broke. I in broke the in the preview. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and there's an earring in here that's very pretty, and hopefully we find the other one because dying. Although unless we can make have it in here, maybe who knows. And then there's this nice shell and bead necklace um red bead and brown shell and a big medallion of shell yes making sure it wasn't tortoise it's shell um yeah that's gonna go in our wood and shell lot shells. okay that's my baby dory voice you're welcome <laughs> oh, okay now this is broken beyond broken so broken it was a multi-strand or double strand dual strand dual strand and now it's just broken but it's got some a b crystals on there plastic and the disco balls so we'll put that in a craft lot for somebody yeah. to make something fabulous out of mm -hmm. so then we've got this champagne brown chocolate yummy combo um it's got a tag and it wouldn't surprise me if it said ny but it doesn't <laughs> That's what I get for guessing. Uh, well, hold it on. wouldn't be surprising if it did. Yeah. Well, I was wrong. R-M-N. Yeah, R-M-N. 
Do you see it? Yeah, that's coming nice and clear. So it's very yummy looking because I think delicious chocolate. Chocolate and champagne and yum yum. Um, but it is all plastic. Like wedding anniversary type of thing. <laughs> like colors. Like that's what, it, that's what I think of. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this will probably go in a mix lot unless RMN comes back as something. You want to look it up to make sure. Okay. All right, so the next piece is pretty zvari broken dang it look how pretty that is y'all silver and gold tone has a nice feel to it and it does not matter the roman company the roman company okay yeah. there you go whatever that is it's a trademark um, stamp for the roman it company so i have to figure it out you looked under RMN jewelry? Yeah, I looked it up and that's what pops up under like what is it what does that stamp mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is so very pretty. Maybe it'll make a couple of nice bracelets if someone can figure that out. It's very pretty. I don't think it's magnetic. It would help if I use the right yeah, it's pulling up. The last time I was doing it this way with a magnet sticking up, it doesn't work that way. This is totally my speed, but it's missing um, something, and it's not, it has, it's kind of broken. So it's broken here, and or maybe it's not, but it would sit on your collar like that. Then it's got the heavy-duty chain on the top. Uh, you know, maybe it's not, it is worn a bit. And then I guess you could hook it on any of these. So I don't know. Your thoughts on that one? Um, I don't know. It's got AB crystal, plastic crystal beads. They're not crystal, but they look like crystal. You know what I mean? And they've got the heavy duty hardware chain. And this is just sticking up, but I don't think that's broken i just think it's the way it is you know mm -hmm. i don't know i like it. it's very punky princess you know what i mean yeah i like it a lot are they broken i think that's broken though yeah that's chipped bummer all right so i guess it will go to a craft lot Although it is gorgeous. Yeah. I am tempted myself just a little. Look at that. See, and the ABs are uh, disco balls. And then that is just, just very pretty. And the back looks like, whoa, no, that's the, that's the front. Look at that. Oh, that's even better. Wow. Let's do this. Let's, let's do this, shall we? Holy cow. I didn't, I was looking at the wrong end going, this is fabulous, but no, look at that. Little bits of abalone. And I got the faux pearls and AB crystal disco balls. These little fan crystal cut pieces that one of them at least is chipped, which is why I won't be selling it outright. But oh my gosh. I am tempted to keep this now, even more than before. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. Look at the last little remnants of the bag here. Okay. So I'm going to set this one aside because, mm -hmm. wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so now we've got this little, yeah, this is in that box. I, I swear I just pulled one of these out last bag or two. Mm -hmm. We have a little locket here. Will it open if I... Open it on the right side. Yeah. Looks like something was stuck in there at one point. This needs to be cleaned up. We'll put that with our charms. That's cute. In fact, if we put it on a decent little chain, maybe we'll put it in the tea lot. Ooh. Oh, that was off. Okay, there's a necklace mm -hmm. in the wood. Yeah. Oh, the fix, actually. Is it in the fix? Right here. Oh. Right in front of me. Oh, well, yep. that goes to one of our fixed pieces. And also that jump ring does as well. 
Is that this one? Yeah, the tiny jump ring. Little jump ring. Okay. Nice. This is different. This little earring right here. And we'll put that with our mixed loose mm -hmm. earrings. Then we've got this loose broken bit. Not sure what that was to. Got another piece of loose broken chain. Disco ball that got squashed. Some more bits and pieces that are loose. This looks like it was on one of our necklaces. Or an earring. Or an earring. Okay. Anyway. But I'm going to put it in our craft lot for now anyway. Mm -hmm. I love lot. it. Mark a plier. <laughs> okay. Is, lot. Yeah. is this a Claire's? No, it doesn't say. Mustache so this is... This is okay. So this is gonna go into a teen lot that specifically has mustaches. Mustaches. Cause mustaches. Fabulous. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's more pieces to that beautiful freaking bracelet. Heavy duty gorgeous with marcasite intermittent with the bumpy bumpies that I broke trying to put on i mean okay i barely can... tried and this broke okay it wasn't me it was the age it just disintegrated i think, if, I think we could sell it and like someone could fix it also, i don't know like... did you take the piece out of here no okay so we've got most of it here we have all of it somewhere okay. i think we're maybe missing a piece yeah maybe or the, that's all of it up of, um, oh okay the... Yeah, so go. we may be missing a piece, if at all. Like, this might be all of it. Mm -hmm. Look at that face, y'all. That is gorgeous. And it's broken. So uh. I don't know if I want to attempt to restring it myself. Probably not. Um, again, wrong way. My guess is that you need the hands of a surgeon for that. <laughs> I don't know. And you I just need it. to know how, that's all. Mm -hmm. See, there's little holes in each one, and you string it through, and then you tie a knot. That's all. But, uh, yeah, I know I don't know that I can pull it off. But it is gorgeous. Like, and none of the marcasite bits are missing, from what I can tell. So maybe I'll try. I mean, this thing's gorgeous. Go ahead and stick it in the fix box. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's fucking gorgeous. Yeah. Fucking freaking flip noggin. Flip noggin. <laughs> okay, this is different. Oh, strangely different. Okay, so this is a choker on the top. And then it's got these long hanging bits with a little. Oh, look at that. There's little crystal bits, like little glitter crystal bits in the balls. Oh, cute. Can you see it? Am I doing it justice in there? I can see it. I think yeah. I can see it. Uh, I don't know which way is the best, but this, this, the, the material is leather. Little suede straps. Little gold tone heart. That is, I already did that one. So this is adorable, and this will go in a teen lot. So she's digging through the earrings already, and we she found this one. So that is definitely a set. Probably put that in a teen lot. Those are cute. Mm -hmm. So these are all the other singles that she's currently looking for matches. Let's see. We have a round with a... Rose quartz was that in this one, or did you just pull that out? Um, that one um, was in that I in I this believe, bag because um, I don't yeah. recognize it. Okay, um, let's see. and I'm pretty sure that most of these are not in there. Here's a pair that's already in there. It's also good to look through just in case we've got some. Yeah, and together. having two sets of eyes is better. Yeah. These are cute, and both pieces were already in there, and I missed them mm -hmm. so. These will probably go in a oh. mix slot. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find any matches with these. 
All right, y'all. So this is the sum of what we found in this, the third box from the 21 pounds that we bought at shopgoodwill.com, originating from Southern New Jersey. We got a few pieces for our wood and shells. We have a few for individual sale. We have some nice chains. Um, this too was for the shells. Look at that seaweed. We had a few for our teen lots and from our kid lots and some earrings and something the cat is going to keep. So, um, not too bad for the third bag. A lot of big sellers? No, probably not, but a lot of wonderful additions to our ever-growing lots. So, stay tuned because soon we're going to be posting the beginning of a collab coming up soon with multiple reselling YouTubers across the platform. Um, and we're going to need your help. We're going to gather 10 items. That, that's 10. 10 items. And we're going to have you choose five. And those five will be posted on eBay for 99 cent starting auction, free shipping. That's right, you have the chance of getting something for 99 cents out the door. And it won't be just us, it will be at least 20 plus other resellers. You do the math, that's over 100 items that will be posted on eBay starting at 99 cents free shipping. And I'm going to need you to help us pick the five that we will be posting. So stay tuned. Make sure you come back and check that out and help us out. Until next time, take care of yourself. Have a great day. Have a great tomorrow. And we'll see you next time. Bye.